so this is something to uh, in the new tool of SAP. Uh, this is how it's known as business objects business intelligence. Now it's known as SAP BI. This is SAP business intelligence. This is all uh, all reporting uh, tools of the business objects. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, what are the two, what is the history of business objects? Business objects was first. Um, started was started in the year 1990s uh, by Dennis Free uh, and Bernard, uh, uh, who was the co-founders of business objects and the headquarters and was in Paris. Uh, in uh, late 2005, the discussion started and ultimately in 2007. It's a thing that they did This is subject to the panel of company with 4,000 other uh, members. Uh, or at the end of the year, we to continue with uh, the SAP purchase this project. This is called this Karangeni team. But uh, this is uh, the head of uh, the offices of uh, the headquarters in Paris, California, the San Jose, and also in Vancouver, which is uh, the biggest office uh, work in Vancouver. Uh, it was taken over at 6.8 billion, or 7 billion bucks making. Uh, and it was acquired by SAP and it was known as SAP Business Objects from there on in 2007. So this is the industry, computer software industry, as well as uh, at work as uh, as SAP in uh, 2007. Founded, it was founded in 1990 and uh, San Jose, California and Paris for the, uh, the, uh, the key areas uh, where you are focusing on and the offices were uh, in all the key cases. And then the San Jose of California and Paris and France are the headquarters basically. Uh, the key founders are the key people, John and Bernard. And subsequently, we have different products that have been released. And we are only focusing on business topics, which uh, is uh, now taken over by SAP. And we are, work we are going to work on Paris Park, uh, sorry, uh, this topic is 4.0, and it's at uh, Paris Park City. Uh, it was a, a deal of 1.77 billion US dollars in 2005, was taken over at the end of uh, 2002 uh, or 2006, when they had close to 5,000 employees with a total of 97 customers who were taken over at 6.5 billion US dollars out of uh, business objects in country. And, that's, and then, then when, in uh, 2007, SAP business objects, SAP took over business objects and they now found the name as SAP business objects. The business objects uh, has been uh, uh, in a great demand with various areas and it's been uh, used uh, as a tool for developing reports uh, and also dashboards. Most of the tools only either support dashboards or they support only uh, reports. And the combination of both is uh, seen in uh, uh, business objects. And that's uh, the address, uh, business object as uh, uh, it's a tool for addressing the volatile market uh, by the volatile people. So you understand what exactly a volatile market is and the what a volatile people. A uh, volatile market is basically stable, it's uh, nothing uh, stable out there, it's unstable. There's no, uh, we don't know what could happen when and where, uh, what is going to be the situation, you know, the market is going to fall. A lot of background noise coming. Uh, yeah, actually, some my uh, roommates are doing something. Uh, okay, okay. So I will not be put you on mute. Okay, uh, okay, fine. No issue. Uh, when you are uh, having any questions, please do uh, open uh, uh, with. Uh, yeah, yeah. Do you also have any questions? Well done. Yeah, sure. Uh, so it addresses the volatile market. It's basically, the volatile people who are capable of handling the market who are. Uh, that go to govern, basically the person, people who are into the analysis portion or people who want the upper level or high level management to look like to have the report. And uh, not only to do these two uh, uh, segments of people, but also to the lower level who have to monitor the way how the uh, uh, data is and the trend of the data is growing in the So this is very, very important. So this is a tool that's going to give you uh, enhance the uh, information as of how you are and the time is performing as of a date when compared to previous years and uh, also going forward we have uh, the new version called the predictive analysis where you can see this is what is going to take place in the future. That's the 
getting these inputs. So, uh, as a connectivity is concerned, as a database is concerned, it has a very good connectivity with Hadoop, which is uh, it's also known as a uh, as big data. So, this gives uh, uh, connecti good connectivity uh, to uh, Hadoop with a source called Universe. So, you connect uh, with the Hadoop uh, database uh, into the Universe and you can start working. Similarly, they have a very good improved, inter improved uh, integration with business uh, warehouse, which is part of SAP itself and it has a entire one-to-one connection with the data systems. Or, uh, or uh, analytical or uh, uh, what we call the uh, OLTP systems. Uh, sorry, OLTP systems. They also have very good uh, uh, connection to other TCOs like SAP, Oracle, etc. Et 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 and have been with the SAP. HANA is an upcoming apart from uh, business office. So they have a very good integration with HANA, which is also a database. Uh, which is a uh, uh, upcoming database for the SAP. Any questions? Yeah, actually, uh, this one. Uh, can you connect to Hadoop database also? Yes, you can uh, connect to Hadoop uh, database also. Hadoop, 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 Hadoop also, right? Yeah, Apache Hadoop. So is there any database which we can't connect for VO reporting? Uh, there are certain, uh, there are about 18 uh, databases that are there. There are about 18 databases which you can connect to with uh, okay. uh, business objects. So, and now yeah, it means, uh, is, it, is it means like it can connect to every database? I can show or you the list of database. I can, I can show you the list of databases that you can connect to. Uh, I, got, I got what you're telling. Uh, we can yeah. connect to 18 databases. My doubt is. Yeah. Uh, is there any database which we can't connect to Vivo or something like that? Uh, well, I, I can't uh, give an answer on that because I'm not uh, familiar with all the databases. Okay, fine, fine, no issues. Uh, I, just want know, uh, yeah, I just want to know, like, Vivo can be connected to any database? Or Most of the databases. Okay, Most fine. of the databases. Yeah, fine, fine. Including your, uh, what do you call, uh, the latest, uh, they acquired, uh, what do you call, uh, Firebase, Android platform. Firebase, yeah, yeah. So, they can connect to, they have a power phone, they have, a lot of other things I can show you if you, if you want to have a look at it. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Okay. Uh, that's not a problem at all. I can show you what all... Because there are two levels of it. One is the relational database, the other one is the uh, OLAP database. OLAP is more into... Uh, I'll come to it when, it when it comes, I'll show you. I'll let explain it to you. So, so coming on to the uh, data tire, if you look into it, we have to the file... Uh, sorry, uh, the files of... Uh, there are five tires basically, data tire, partition tire, receiving tire, application tire, and tire. So graphically it is being represented on the left hand side and uh, uh, globally it is, sorry, uh, 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 it's uh, graphically represented on the right hand side and uh, the information with respect to these layers are being expressed in the left hand side. So you have a database, you have basically OLAP, SQL, BW, SQL and DW, relational database, ODBC, ODBC, and uh, uh, last one here. There are other uh, databases like uh, CRM, YAP, COM, and XML. And you also have the purpose when you have Twitter, Amazon, Facebook, etc. coming into the You can also work on HANA platform. You can work on the Microsoft Excel. A lot of other applications are taken into consideration for, your, uh, for making the data into the team. Then you have the processing tire, then you have the business inclusion tire, then the application tire, basically the reporting tool, then the dashboard, basically the water load, and the output of these are seen in Apple, um, Android, Windows Mobile, Blackberry, e whatever the uh, web browsers are, and all of them are your work. Any questions again? Are you getting the picture? Yes. Yeah, I'm getting nothing more done. Okay. So, it's an enlarged version of the previous slide that you have seen. It's just a, a replica of the same 